Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we've got the Miltec non-res race catback version of their exhaust. Um, I ordered it from CUK with their little Christmas deal that they were doing. Um, I did want to order from AET but I sent them a message and they just didn't get back to me on the day. Um, so even though I gave them like the choice that I said look I want to order from you guys they didn't get back to me until today um, and obviously I've already now got it in my hands. Um, so we're going to open it up, have a little look. I've also ordered some Power Flex bushes, um, but I'll show you guys those in a second. But yeah, let's open it up um, and we'll go from there. So once again, inside we have the PayPal bag. No idea why, but inside the PayPal bag we've got universal exhaust mountings from Powerflex. Um, with any luck, these will be much better than the standard and hold my exhaust in place. We'll see. I know a lot of people say buy um, Focus RS Mark II ones. Um, I've gone against the grain and bought the ones recommended, um, but we will see. So. There's millions of them in here. I, I say millions. There's four of them. I thought four of them. Let's get rid of them and let's have a little look at the exhaust. So once again, looks like it's packaged pretty well. Um, it comes with this kind of almost looks like expanding foam. I think it is actually expanding foam. Um, so let's get that out of the way. And there she is. Bloody hell! Ugh. So. In terms of packaging, it's really cool. I like the fact that they've got these um, these around the flanges at the end. Um, it looks pretty nicely welded. Um, I can confirm, I definitely have the non-resonated version. As you can see, all of these pipes don't have a resonator until you get to the catback itself. Um, but I'll slightly unbox this off camera because it's kind of hard to do one-handed. Um, even the end one there has got a little foam pad, so it's cool, and it's a pretty a dense foam, so that's cool, good to see. I'm glad like companies are taking pride in you know packaging stuff as well as Miltech do. But anyway, going to unbox it ever so slightly, I won't get it all out of the box because obviously I need to get this to the destination that it's getting. So I'm just going to give you guys snippets of um, each part. Um, I think this is, I might be completely wrong in saying this. I think this is the bit that goes in between the cat back and the center section. I really don't know. When we get to the installation video, if I make one more on that a little bit later in this video, I'll teach you guys how to fit this because I'm not 100% sure when to do it. But as you can see, it's really, really, really nice condition. Um, at the end of the day, it is just a pipe. Um, but it's nice to have a bit of kind of, you know, Miltec branding on there and stuff. Um, cap welded on. Um, so I'll get the next piece out and we'll have a look at that. So this section is the cat back itself. I'm not going to take the bubble wrap off because there's just no real point. Um, but once again, you know, really, really nice, good packaging and stuff. Um, and obviously you've got your tips, which hopefully are in here. I'll have a super quick dig around while on camera. So see, we've got the, I think that's the center section down there. Once again, a little bit of branding on there. Um, inside here. We have the three exhaust clamps themselves. Um, and then I'll fish a little bit more to see if I can find those tips. As I said before, I'm not going to get the center section out. It's too low down. It's just too faffy. Um, but I found another box. And with any luck, inside this box are... I may unwrap one of these for you guys. But here are the end caps. I have no idea how they go on. Not a clue. I'm hoping there is more mounting hardware in here. Okay, so you've got two actual exhaust clamps, which would be one and two, I think. That would make sense. Maybe three in here. Uh, one, two. There's only two in here. One, two. And then you've got the two ends, which I think are the for the ends here. Should we get the center section out and have a quick look? Let's have a look. 
what's going on with the centre section. So, inside here. That's just a pipe. A pipe onto a flange. So, I have no idea how that works. I'm a bit confused. So, one would go onto here. Am I overcomplicating this? One would go onto there. And then. I have no idea. I have no idea. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But either way, I'll unwrap one of these. I'll give you guys a quick look. And I must admit, looking at these actually, um, I can see why people uh, pay so much money for these. Um, that is actually really, really, really nice. Um, yeah. So there you go. Um, so a quick update for you guys of how I'm getting this installed. Now, the person down the road that can do the install for me, um, it would cost approximately £40 for just labour for him to just fit the exhaust in a nice little heated workshop out of the rain. Um, or I could have done it myself. One, I would have probably had to buy one of those exhaust clamp remover things because it's much easier that way. Obviously, you can use ferry up liquid and stuff to get rid of them. Um, but I probably would have bought the tool to do it just quickly and properly because I would have been laying in my back on my back on this driveway in this weather um I don't know whether you guys can see that but it's it's pouring down it's not nice it's horrible it's raining it's dark so basically we're not going to do that um we're just going to take you to a garage and do 40 quid. Now, if I can make a video on it, I will make a video on it. Um, I really want to do an installation, guys, for you guys. Obviously, I'll be using a ramp, um, and I probably will help the guy. But I feel a bit awkward recording in the middle of his workshop. Um, I might ask him. I might not. I might just try and do some cheeky little videos um, and then do a, like a voiceover video for them. Um, but we will see. I've heard an exhaust is pretty easy to fit. The only thing I don't fully understand is exhaust paste and obviously how this all goes together in the first place um, I've also got an extra gasket coming for the end that connects to the cat back or sorry the uh, sports cat that I bought recently I've got another gasket coming just in case that one that they supplied doesn't quite fit um, so I've ordered a gasket that's a 2.75 internal diameter bore which is the same size as all of this pipe work um, and then hopefully the gasket itself will fit and it can seal and I won't be breathing in carbon monoxide anymore but anyway Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to clear up my kitchen because I have now made a mess. Um, and I will see you guys in the future. And hopefully I'll bring you an installation video. I just want to say there's a channel out there. Spark Plug Steve. Give him a subscribe. I'll probably link his channel down below or something. Um, he gave me a shout out recently. And it's one of the kindest things that I've seen from this community. It's wicked to see you know, people watching my video to the point where they're so, they've learnt so much from it that they actually then, you know, push other people to come and watch it and it's wicked. So seriously guys, the whole point of this channel is to help as many people as I possibly can or at least give you an insight into stuff such as this is what you're going to receive, these are the parts and this is how it goes together, even though I don't really know how it goes together at the minute. But seriously, just give him a subscribe. Um, I'm sure you guys are mostly subscribed to him already because he's doing wicked on YouTube. So go subscribe to him. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Um, and yeah, I'm going to clean up. Bye.